Hi everyone, Caroline from Thought Farmer here. Today I'm going to introduce you to our latest release, Thought Farmer 10.9. And I know it's only been a few weeks since our last release, but that just speaks to how amazing our product team is. Now, this is a small but mighty release, and it is actually our final point release of Thought Farmer 10. All good things must come to an end, of course, but make sure you keep an eye out for what we roll out next, because I promise you it will be exciting. There are two key updates in 10.9. Firstly, we're introducing security aware cards, which allow you to show different information to different groups on your homepage. And second, we're introducing the ability to rename cards according to your needs. So let's start with the security aware cards. This update relates specifically to the Quick Links card and the Rich Text card. And it allows you to customize those cards so that they are visible to users that meet certain criteria. For example, quite a few of our customers like to use the Quick Links card as a launchpad for our mission critical software. We do this too. This update means you can now create a unique Quick Links card for each team, so users will only see links to the software that they actually use. The setup is very simple. When you are creating your card, you just complete the Restrict View Permissions modal, and that's it. As you can see in this example, members of the marketing team will see one set of links, while the customer success team will see an entirely different set. Now, as you can imagine, the Security Aware Cards feature could result in you having multiple versions of the same card. So to avoid any confusion, we're also introducing the ability to rename your cards. For this, we're starting with just a few cards, including the Quick Links and Rich Text cards, but we will be rolling this feature out to more cards over the next little while. There are a few smaller updates in our 10.9 release as well, including some bug fixes and updates to some of our custom cards, but you can find all of the details in the release notes on our Thought Farmer community site. And as always, remember to subscribe to our monthly newsletter, which highlights our most exciting news and updates. That's it for us here. Thank you so much and see you next time.